Welcome to the Potter Blog site, August 19th, 2014. More investigative breaking news about ZMAP, the Ebola treatment. The company in Kentucky actually has the capability of producing, on a rough order of magnitude, 97,000 courses of treatment for Ebola per month. They have a five week lead time to get it started. Now, uh, we did a complete analysis based on uh, data we got from this uh, National Institutes of Health uh, Philo Medical, Philovirus Medical Countermeasures Workshop that was held almost exactly a year ago. And we did this analysis and we came up with if they got a rough order of magnitude that they could do uh, 97,000 treatments per month. That's a full course of treatments. Now, we'll get into that in more detail in a moment. but. Uh, you don't have to take our word for it. We made a short clip of the video from this conference. And this is a, I believe, a clip from Larry Zeitlin from MAP Biopharmaceutical. Uh, the ZMAP cocktail is actually a combination of this MB003 cocktail and uh, another cocktail uh, called uh, ZMAB, M A B. Uh, these two organizations uh, combine their efforts to put it together. Now, listen to this. Uh, clip that we put together from this uh, from this conference. Let's go full screen and pay close attention. And, um, because of the, the quick timeline to manufacture, um, I, I think one could think about maintaining a very small stockpile and then in the event of emergency really crank up uh, production. So in the event of emergency, their suggestion is, is maintain a small stockpile but because of their rapid capability, ramp up production. Let's hear that one more time. I think one could think about maintaining a very small stockpile and then in the event of emergency really crank up uh, production program. And uh, they've got the capacity to produce probably about a kilogram of antibody a month. So this is the actual facility here. He said they can produce a kilogram of antibody per month. So we took that information and uh, some more information from this video conference and basically that led out to a rough order magnitude of 97,000 treatments per month. Now, they have not been talking about their capability. Matter of fact, they have underplayed their capability in an extreme measure. Let me zoom in on this so you can see our analysis. They've underplayed their capability uh, we thought their capability was much less too, but uh, what makes their capability so great, great is they only allow one week's worth of growth uh, before the plants need to be harvested. It's all done indoors. Now we were conservative in our analysis, and this is the uh, milligrams, my sorry, micrograms per dose of uh, kilogram body mass required, three dose treatment, uh, average human weight, mass is 62 grams and one kilogram a month antibody production rate, three doses of treatment. And when you run that math, you get 97,751 treatments per month. So rough order of magnitude, that's what they can produce. Now the question is, is why are they silent about this? Why don't they want people to know what they can produce? Well, they actually uh, fired off uh, the government, the uh, Defense Threat Reduction Agency, paid for them to produce uh, is paying for them to produce uh, enough material for a phase one clinical trial. They announced this on July 22nd. I think they're actually going to do a lot more than that. But again, they're keeping it secret. Why aren't they letting the Africans know that they can produce this much? Why aren't they letting us know they can produce this much? Well, I think we have some insight into that too. Uh, you know, it's, if you listen to this conference, and this is this conference took place over two days. Uh, this is a very def Department of Defense driven conference. They're working on making all these countermeasures that they're working on. They're testing them against airborne Ebola, airborne filoviruses. That's the challenge. Airborne filoviruses is the challenge that all they're testing these countermeasures against. Now we've reported previously how readily uh, Ebola can be field weaponized uh, with an ultrasonic humidifier. Uh, the time frame is such that it is possible for terrorists to mount an attack uh, 
by 9-11 in this country. And uh, if that happens, we'll need this stuff. And there are some negative aspects to uh, ZMAP2 from what we can tell from this press conference, or not from this press conference, from this workshop. And uh, what really jumped out at us was that uh, one out of 20 primates had escaped mutants. And on those mutants, reversion was possible. Now, I'll let you look that up to understand it yourself. But uh, basically what it means is, is the virus mutates in one out of uh, 20 primates. And uh, it's possible that when it mutates is that that virus is no longer detectable in that person because it mutates in such a way to make it undetectable to the specific antibodies that they may be testing for. Now, usually mutations come at the price of the virus being less robust, meaning it can't reproduce as quickly or as strongly. But the virus, assuming that we have one that can't reproduce as strongly, even though it's been mutated, it can change itself back into a version that grows rapidly. So, if one extrapolates this, one out of every 20 people who gets this uh, ZMAP treatment will have some sort of uh, a mutated virus in their system. So it's a, uh, you know, there, we see a lot of concern in this and we could talk about this for a much longer time period but there are some other very other interesting things that came out of this conference especially things we could see how one could airborne mass vaccinate the population uh, against uh, Ebola using uh, other viruses We'll go to that in some more detail in another video post. But as it stands now, uh, based on a rough order of magnitude calculation, right about now, maybe in two, three weeks, uh, Kentucky Bioprocessing ought to have availability of nearly 100,000 courses of treatment for Ebola.